One of the hardest thing I find when it comes to database design is colors. I'm always fighting to get the correct colors. And sometimes once I've got it, I put them into Power BI and it's like, oh, it does not work. Like there's too little contrast, too much contracts or whatever it is. So in today's video, I'm going to show you two tools. One, to pick color palettes that are, are tested and work well, but a second tool where you can quickly test them on graphs to see if it will work for you. Okay, so let's get started. So the first tool, you probably know this already, is a website called colors.co and it allows you to either make your own palette based on one color or you can just explore palettes that other people have done that work very well and then use them. The problem that I find with these is that once you put these into your Power BI file, you might realize that they don't truly work. We're gonna grab one. I don't know, let's pick this one for example. To grab it, I'm going to open palette. And what we're going to do is we're gonna go there and I'm going to click on export palette. And now we're going to test these palette toys in another tool. This other tool is called Database Palettes. It's so, so cool. We're going to import the colors that we just copied and click import. And you can actually see those colors on different types of charts. So useful. So you can see, for example, this color palette it works actually quite nice on maps on stacked array charts, but when it comes to the line chart, you see the light yellow cream, it just not has not enough contrast, you can't see it. Obviously, if your background is black, it works. It works beautifully. Perhaps then you will have problems with this darker color that is too dark. So what you can do is already in here, you can go and select the lighter blue, and then you can also change, obviously, the hue, you know, the uh, transparency of it. How cool is that? And then you can play with it as much as you like until you find the colors that actually work for you. If you want to go back to white, you can just do it here. And then you can see again that that one doesn't work and change it to another color. So I am going to post a link to both resources down at the bottom of the description box so you can play with it. So useful. I mean, it saved me tons of time. So I'm hoping that it will save you time, both for creating palettes and also for testing them in your Power BI design without actually going into Power BI at all. So I will see you again on the next video. Probably will be on Friday. We will do the day five to day 10 or 25 days of Tax Friday. So take care and bye bye.